Hey, welcome. This is Darren Kidd. I hope you are having an awesome week and a great day. And I am excited to share with you today how to speed up your business one to two years in four hours or less. And I know what you may be saying. Hey, look, it sounds too good to be true. But trust me, people ask me all the time. Listen, what are the things that I can do to grow my business faster, achieve my goals and dreams sooner than later? And I'm going to share that with you today. So if that sounds good to you, I know we're broadcasting on multiple platforms. We're on YouTube. We're on uh, Facebook. We're on, I believe we're on Twitter. Um, and just let me know where you're watching from as you join. What city, state, province in Canada, what country? We got Lisa. How did I know Lisa was going to be here, right? She's always an amazing support. And I've been plugging into my trainings for quite some time. And that is why she is having the success that she's having. Well, that's not why. Let me, let me rephrase that. The reason why is because she is so hungry and she wants to learn and wants to grow. It's not about me. It's about her willing to be coachable and putting in the work and always plugging in and no excuses. So we appreciate that. There's another familiar face. Brian, welcome uh, from Connecticut. We appreciate you joining. And now we got some people coming in. Letty from Botswana. Yeah, all right. We appreciate that. We got... Um, Patria, am I saying that right? Miller from Washington, D.C., Chuck from Florida, Lake City. Hey, Chuck, I actually, my Belgian Malinois I bought from Plant City. Uh, I got out there, Ivan Balabanov, one of the best in the world dog trainers. And so we're going to go ahead. Hey, Howard, great to see you. And um, anyway, <laughs> Lisa, Lisa, all right. I love it, Lisa. I love your sense of humor, too. All right. So I'm excited today because I've got a major announcement and you're going to be blown away. It's probably uh, the most exciting announcement that I have had in a long time. And what I'm going to do is not only am I going to give you some golden nuggets, some tips on how to grow your business faster, but at the end, I'm going to share with you a few little secrets of things that I did. So even if you don't want to plug into the announcement that I'm going to get, you know, give you, which I can't see why anybody would not want to, but even if not, you're still going to get some tips and some strategies and some things that helped me go from, and a lot of you, you know my story, and we have a lot of new people that are following uh, the page and a lot of new people that are plugging into the trainings. So you may not know all of my story, and I'm not going to bore you with a lot of details, but after 28 years of being in network marketing, I learned a little bit about what works and what doesn't work. I learned a little bit about, hey, if you want to go sl grow slow, then do these things. But if you want to grow fast, do the other things that I'm going to share with you. So my first seven years, I failed in network marketing, right? Didn't know what to do, had no mentors. I did the wrong thing, said I'll never do it again. Then I had a 13-year window where I actually had some success. I went to you know a six-figure you know money earner in the industry, made over a million dollars in a company, had over a thousand personal customers, one of the top 10 recruiters out of several hundred thousand people. But then I changed a few little things that led me to explosive growth, that led me to a 40-some month window, not 40 years, but 40-some months where I ended up having more success than I would have if you would have taken my previous path in previous speed. It would have taken 40 years combined to do what I did in 40 months. So if all of you, if you want to know, you know, hey, look, what do I need to do to speed up my business? I'm going to give that to you today. And at the end, not only am I going to give it to you, but I'm going to share with you what to do with it. Hey, Brian, thank you for sharing. I appreciate that. Yeah. And if so, if you if you want your team to grow faster, this is definitely one that I will get them to plug into. And we're going to be very quick and very brief. Um, but here's a way that you can grow faster. Then I'm going to give you the announcement. The slowest way to get to whatever goal you want to achieve, I don't care if it's a fitness goal, a spiritual goal, a business goal, is you try to figure those things out on your own. Okay, If you want to go grow slow, that is exactly the way that you do it. But if you want to grow fast, then what you want to do is you want to find some people that have what you want. Okay, So if it's fitness, maybe like, oh my gosh, man, you know, this person, they're my age. Um, but man, they've got a six pack and, and they have a lot of energy and they look great, you know, and then, you know, they're in the fitness world You go, what do I need to do when it comes to my diet, my exercise, my sleep, my nutrition to get similar results that you're achieving? 
And what you find is that that person spent many years researching, educating themselves, being around the right people to learn those things. And so you can learn from that person and shave months or years off your learning curve. And so I've just learned, hey, the secret to growth is finding somebody that has what I want, hiring them, reading their book, taking their course, learning from them, implementing, and not spending years like they did figuring it out. So why would you spend the next 5, 10, 20 years of your life trying to figure out something when you can read a book, take a course, attend some type of of an event where you're listening to people that did that and it just makes sense to me. So let me ask you this, and I want you to participate. For those of you that know, you know, you know me, I love to, this is communicating back and forth. It's not just me being a talking head. Hey, Lisa, thank you for sharing. Hey, Chuck, thanks for joining. Um, And we got Thomas, appreciate you joining from Ohio, Latasha from Texas, Lynette, great to see you. All right, so let me ask you this. If I was sitting down with you and we're having a cup of coffee, I would ask you, hey, listen, remind me or let me know why you join the business that you're in. Okay, what's most important to you in your life right now? And I'll get you to share that with me. And for, for lack of t- for sake of time, I'm going to go ahead and get to the point. And then I go, well, what are your goals in the company? And so maybe you share with me, hey, listen, I want to be a stay-at-home parent. I want to be able to retire my spouse. Their job is so stressful and it's literally killing them and I can't take it. I want to put my kids in a different school system. I want to move my family into a safer area. They're in a dangerous area. I want to feed my family healthier foods. I want to give more money to my church or a charity. I want to impact people. Man, I want to do something that I enjoy and I love and I can't wait to do every day. Hey, Darren, I just want to have freedom. I would love to be able to sleep until I'm done. I would love to be able to travel and go on vacation and not have to worry about when I'm coming home. I would like to dictate what I'm worth and not somebody else dictate what I'm worth. Whatever those goals or those dreams may be, here's my question to all of you. And let me let me know in the comments, Brian. Like, for example, all right, uh, joining from Singapore, 2.36 a.m. I love it. You're committed. You're serious. Hey, handsome devil in India. Okay, what a cool name. (laughs) Uh, Brian says, replacing my full-time income, freedom of time and movement. And so then I would ask you this. What if I could show you how to get there so much sooner than later, so much faster? Would you want to know how to do that? And by the way, this is part of your training because this is how I would promote different things to your organization when it's appropriate with something like this. And of course, you're going to say yes no one, ever, no one ever says, hey, listen, I, I want to take the slow path, <laughs> right? I don't want to achieve my goals sooner than later. I would rather drag them out and make it very painful. People don't say that. And so then once I did that, I go, what if, okay, and let me ask you this in the comments or I'll watch it on live here. Okay, or if you're on replay, I want to come back and be able to see your feedback. What if the next four weeks in a row, really think about this, you could travel to a different area, and I have it set up for you to where we have people, okay? One person, his team has done, uh, they have 400,000 customers. They've done over 150 million in revenue, making multiple six figures a month. That's gonna be one of your trainers for one week. The next week, you go into another area. This gentleman and his wife, they sold their organization, it's done over $200 million in revenue. That's the next week. Okay, so you're flying from city to city, from state to state, from country to country. And then the next weekend, all right, you, you, um, you're you being trained by one of, not only one of the best networkers that ever was, but in 2017, he was rated the number one network marketing trainer in the entire profession in 2017. He is an author and there's a lot of other phenomenal things that he's done. And then I would be one of your trainers. So you would fly in one week and you would work with me and I would train you. What would that do for your business? Okay, let me see. What would that do for your business? Would it explode your business? Would it shave years off of your learning curve to be able to to learn from these four trainers the combined income, I will bet you the revenue that's been generated would be a billion dollars plus. Out tens of millions of dollars in commission. Howard, you said it right, explode it. 
But if you are like me and every other person that I talk to, we really do not want to spend right tens of thousands in travel. Well, not tens of thousands, but it would be thousands in travel. We don't want to spend four weekends away from our family, right? You have to fly. You have to go through the COVID test. You have to uh, have a hotel room. You have to have airfare. You have to have food and on and on and on. Well, the good news, you do not have to do that. This is where I am announcing, right? We're going to bring it straight to you. And this is going to blow your mind. Okay. So on the, the screen, daringkid.com slash social. Over the next four weeks, I am bringing those people straight to you. And let me tell you who they are. Then I'm going to tell you what I would do with this information if I were you. Okay. And you don't have to take my advice. It's okay if you don't. But I'm just telling you what I did that helped me build teams of several hundred thousand people to build teams over a half a billion dollars in revenue, to be a top recruiter in every company that I went to in 28 years, to be a top customer getter. That's what I'm going to share with you. Okay, So I'm going to be the first week trainer. So it's going to be a four week series. Every week we're going to go, we're going to train for about an hour. Okay, over four weeks, once a week. If you can't make it live, no worry. You're going to have lifetime access to the replays. First week is going to be me. So I'll guarantee you I'm going to go longer than an hour. And I will guarantee you after the first training, guaranteed money back guarantee. Right. I will guarantee you at the end, if you go, this wasn't worth it, you get your money back. That's how confident I am. And I will bet you that you're going to say after the first training, the first week, Every one of these, you're going to go, if all I did was pay for that one training, it was worth a hundred times more than I paid for the training. So I'm the first week. The second week, we have got um, Brandon and Lynette Cunningham. Not only are they multiple seven-figure earners, but their team is the one that's done $200 million in sales revenue. That's the second week. The third week, you're going to have John Melton, right? John Melton is not only does team, okay, him and Nadia, do they do $150 million in revenue on their team? They have a team of over 400,000 customers and they have did it pretty much all online, right? With no in-home meetings, no three-way calls. And he's going to teach you so the, the, the five, I believe it's the five, Steps to building a profitable online business. You're going to be able to learn from someone that's done that. And then the last week, the last trainer is going to be the one, the only Rob Sperry, who in 2017 was named the number one trainer in all of network marketing, right? And he is going to be the last trainer. All of that, $97. $97. Yes. Okay. You're building your business, right? Check with your CPA, tax write-off, business expense, and you're going to have lifetime access to the replays. So here's what I would do if I were you. Number one, you absolutely want to be a part of it. You want to get registered immediately because I will tell you the platform that we're using, there is limited space. So you want to make sure that you're, you're registered yourself, okay? And then it's hard to promote it to someone else if you're not a product of the promotion yourself. And Guess what? The best investment you can ever make is investing in you because you take you with you everywhere you go. And what I learned a long time ago, I don't make what I want. I make what I am. Right. And I need to become more if I want to make more. And by the way, the name of this training is the Social Media Accelerator. Social Media Accelerator. It's going to accelerate <laughs> your business. It's going to help you grow faster than you ever thought possible. It's going to teach you to use your phone, right? Your business. Remember we used to say you have your business in a box, right? Your business comes in the mail and you've got this big kit with all these brochures and DVDs and all that stuff. Well, now it's your business in your pocket. It's your, it's your phone. You can build a global business from your smartphone while waiting in line to pick up your kids at school. So that's why the four weeks that we're going to share with you, how to use social media to expose more people, follow up, create things that are going to attract more people to you. And you have the ability on a part-time, spare time basis to reach more people 
on a weekly basis than I used to in six months or a year because of technology. So here are the things that I would do. All right. Um, I'm just I'm, real quick. All right. So let me see here. I'm in Lynette 97. Yep, you're right. It is incredible. Lisa, it is a no brainer. That's why you want to share this with your team. You want to share this in groups. But if you want to know and let me know, I'll give you some bonus tips. Right. This is what I got. This is where I'm going to share with you what I would do if I were you. So let me know if you want to know, like how I think and how I thought I'm no longer a distributor. But what helped me build local events of over 4,000 people? Go to a convention over the third of the arena was, was my team, right? And it's not just me. It's, it's your team. You're just having great people. But knowing how I would think when we had a conference call or a promotion and, and my attitude and my philosophy and the things that I did. Well, let me just share it with you, okay? These are things. It's your mindset. And it's learning how to promote, so my mindset, knowing back in the day, I was in a room of several hundred six and seven figure earners. You had to be at least a six figure earner to be in the room. And when we were talking about events and whatever applies offline applies online. And we go, look, a big convention and we averaged it out. And this is an average. It's not an income claim. Right. There's no such thing. Get rich quick doing some, getting something for nothing. We know that's not the way it works. Right. This is a legit business. You have to put in the work. And most people, people go, most people, you know, in network marketing don't make any money. That's true because most people quit. Most people who go to the gym don't get in shape because they quit. Right. Most people that launch a traditional business don't succeed because they quit and the business fails. Right. So it's not that the industry doesn't work. It's people that don't work. But I love the odds when we had a franchise and invest several hundred thousand dollars in each one. Right. That was a pretty risky, you know, um, business venture. But when you have something where you can get started for less than the price of a smartphone, like really it's a it's a no brainer. But it's a matter of treating it like you invested that type of money in a traditional business. So when we're in this room, we averaged it out and go, look, every person that you get to a big event, the income over the next 12 months on average from the people in the room was about one thousand dollars a person. So if I had 25 people go with me to an event and it wasn't just in one organization because comp plans don't pay on one organization, then the next 12 months, it, at least on average, most of the time, it was going to pay me about $25,000, 50 people, 50,000. And I found that to be true, right? Actually, even more than that when it was a smaller team and less than that when you had a massive team. Because when you get people plugged into a training like the one that I'm mentioning to you or uh, a convention or anything like that, what it does, it builds their belief. It builds their posture. It teaches them the skills that they need to be able to have the ability to go out and succeed. Because people just say treat it like a business and go build your business, but they don't know what to do and how to do it. And they're just looking. They're hungry. They want to know, but they don't know what to do. So when you plug them into an event... It compresses time frames, success compression. So the way that I would look at this training is I would pretend like, oh my gosh, Darren and John Melton and Brandon and Lynette Cunningham and Rob Sperry are doing this just for my team. There is no other team, <laughs> right? And then what I would do is go, all right, well, I'm going to treat it as if, you know, I want momentum because you do. How much, how much momentum do you want to have going into the summer months? And by the way, let me just give you my honest opinion. This is my opinion, right? And you can tell, you don't have to agree with me. Summertime is the most distracting time of the year, normally for network marketing. Now, that's a fact. I have 28 years in network marketing. I know that is a fact. You have to work twice as hard to get half of the results a lot of times, but it doesn't mean the results don't come. It means that they come during the fall, which is one of the best seasons of the year for network marketing. But if we do nothing through the summer, then you have no momentum and you're starting completely over in the fall. I believe this summer is going to be the most distracting summer in the history of network marketing 
because of everyone coming out of lockdown. Right. They're so happy that restrictions are being lifted. They're able to travel and they're just like running wild and want to go out and have some fun and 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 travel, do all these things. So it is very important to keep your team focused and on point during the summer months, motivated, inspired, trained, educated to prepare for the fall harvest. And the ones that do that, in my opinion, you're going to dominate. Like you're going to gain market share over the summer months, even though it may not look like it, but you're going to be doing the things no matter how it looks. Like, for example, this training, getting a little bit better, learning the skills, putting into action the things that we're going to teach you over the next several weeks. Right. We're going to teach you how to blitz over the next 30 days, take several years and turn it into a few weeks and shave years off your learning curve, give you assignments of things that you can do. that are going to start getting you results and then if you have team on that, then guess what? All of your team is getting inspired and motivated and educated and trained, and you're keeping them close to the fire. So what happens when you plug people into an event or training like this? A lot of times you may not even know that they're ready to quit. And if you hadn't got them plugged into this, they come back to you later and go, man, let me just say something right now. If you hadn't got me plugged into that training, I was ready to throw in the towel. I was done. And then you're going to have people that plug in that the light bulb comes on and they're like, oh, my gosh, man, me, you know, they, maybe their story is, hey, look, I'm a single mom. I've got several kids. I didn't even think it was possible. But thank God you plugged me into that social media accelerator training, because now I realize that my kids are not my excuse. They're my reason and that I can build this around my busy life. And I can even be more effective because I've learned online strategies on how to prospect more efficiently, how to prospect without feeling pushy, how to attract people to me, where I have people asking me, hey, tell me about your products, tell me about your services. Hey, how do I, how do I join your business to be able to start generating extra income from my smartphone or be able to pay off my debt, whatever it may be? So if I were in your shoes, I would treat it as if it was being done just for me and my team, I would set a goal of how many people that I wanted to have plug into this training because you can be the top leader in the entire company. Like with me, my team got tired of hearing from me. Your team, we know they're going to get tired of hearing from you. That third party is always more powerful than first party. And so, you know, that's why we use that one prospecting. You connect them in a three-way messenger chat or you even do a three-way call or whatever it may be. You're using a third party tool. Well, the same thing is going to happen when you're training them. So I would set a goal of how many people you want to have on your team and how many in each organization. So that way you have momentum in every one of your legs, every one of your lines of sponsorship. Right. So you have momentum blowing through the summer months, not just in one group. And then I would even reach down, not just to your not just to your leaders. Let them know, hey, watch this, man. Check out this page, DarrenKid.com slash social. And then ask them what their goal is. But I would help them reach down in their organization because you can never take for granted that you have a leg that is just going to be there forever. You want to continue to strengthen that organization by, by dropping the anchor in that organization, being a talent scout and communicating. And so the next thing you know, you have 5, 10, 20 of a certain rank in that one organization and you know you've got a rock solid business, right? It's going with or without you. And so those are, let me see if there's anything else that I'm missing. Let me know, okay? How many of you are going to plug into the training, be, be hanging with us for the next four weeks? Oh, here's another thing too. One thing that I learned when it comes to events and again, what applies online and offline, vice versa, however many people I could get plugged into a powerful event like this training, or a convention, whatever it may be, normally in about 90 days, I can multiply that by 10. So if I plugged in 10 people and I go, okay, I'm going to have four or five people in all three legs of my sponsorship. I normally knew oh, man, in the next 60, 90 days, that 10 is probably going to turn into a hundred or more. So I looked at trainings like this as a trampoline, knowing that if I jump on the trampoline by myself, I'm only going to go so high. But if we lock arms and four or five of us jump up and down on the trampoline, it's going to catapult us into the air, which I don't recommend on a trampoline. But that's the way that I look at this type of an event. It's going to catapult my team 
through the summer. So I have an explosive uh, uh, second half you know, of the year. All right. So let me see. And then I would track it, by the way. OK. All right. Brian says at least one of his teammates is in already. You go. Great job, Lisa. OK. Can we start now? <laughs> you got to wait till next week, but make sure you get registered right now. Hey, Ginger, thanks for joining. All right. Any questions? But yeah, I'm excited to share the next four weeks with you. Thank you for plugging in. Appreciate you, whether you're watching on Facebook, YouTube, Twitter, wherever. Make sure you like the page. Make sure you subscribe on YouTube. Um, make sure you press, press that love or like button uh, to let me know if you're liking the content, you're liking the weekly trainings, and I'll continue to bring that to you um, every single week. So I hope you have a great rest of your day, and we'll be in touch soon. And can't wait to spend the next four weeks with you as a part of the Social Media Accelerator. Again, DarrenKid.com slash social, and we'll see you soon. Take care.